We're back here on the Psychedelic Circus on Air FM Music. I'm your host, C, sitting in with Ben Christo of the Sisters of Mercy, as well as his own band, Night by Night. We've been talking about Night by Night, um, his project that he's been working on for a while, and the retooling process that he's doing to kind of try and bring it to the next level. Now I know that you've just got a new lead singer, Ben, so tell me a little bit about the process that you're working on to, to bring this band to the next level. Okay. We have uh, just introduced a new lead singer, and um, he's great. He's called Daniel, and he's got a wonderful range, but he's still got a very sort of modern sounding voice that still has classic elements. So we didn't want anything that was a bit too 80s, but then we didn't want anything that was too emo. And he's got a really good balance of, of all these things, and he's got a great range and lots of presence. And he came around for an audition, and we got on so well, and we spent like the next 48 hours just laughing which was great. That's always good. Band is like finding a family, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a bit like when you meet someone you really fancy and um, you can't stop texting them. <laughs> it was a bit like that, really. Um, and it is still like that. So that's a good sign. So um, you're actually going to be at two events coming up. Is your new lead singer going to be there or is it still going to be the original? Yeah. The kind of launching stuff of becoming a five piece. Okay. We're doing two shows in Scandinavia at the end of March, start of April. We're playing at Trash Fest, mm-hmm. um, which is in Helsinki. Which I will see um, you at which you will see me at. I think it's the, the last day of, it's the Wednesday, the last the Wednesday, day of March. Wednesday, last day, okay. Yeah, which is that the 31st? I believe no, the 30th. The 30th. No, hang on. <laughs> Let me we have look to at check the... at the calendars. You bring out the schedule. Okay, checking the schedule, babes. Uh, yeah, it's the 30th, March the 30th. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, so then we'll see you there. And then you're also going out to... Playing in Norway in uh, a place close to Oslo on the Saturday, a venue called Buddy Scene, which is um, like specializes in... And buddy, B U W D Y scene S. The buddy scene? <laughs> that sounds, uh, it just reminds me of too many bad things. And it's a metal venue. Well, you mostly said. like melodic rock and specializes in that sort of vibe of things. And the guys who promote over there are just completely insane about melodic rock and they know everything. And at the end of every time we've ever gone over there, because we did a show over there once with Y and T. I don't know if you remember, like classic 80s. Oh, rock. dude, I totally have a vinyl of Y and T. Yeah, we, we did a support for them last year. And um, yeah. As usual, the end. The, the night ended with the Norwegians who know everything. They always get we get a bit drunk and set up this rock quiz. And they're like, so who was the second bass player of Toto between uh, 1974 and, uh, <laughs> and? Oh no wonder I'm Norwegian. We're all know-it-alls. Exactly. So, <laughs> just in the music department. Though, <laughs> so that's that's what we're doing at the end of the month. First gigs with a new singer. Um, we've got a drummer who's helping us for these shows, a really, really cool guy called Roz from a band called New Device, who you should probably check out. Oh, definitely will. And so you're looking for a new... Yeah, we're looking for a new guy. So if you want to send audition tapes, I know that Ben is interested in looking at different drummers. Definitely. Um, I know that you have a Facebook that you can contact. By night on the Facebook? Yeah, get in contact there. And I'm on Facebook as well, so you can just message me there, uh, Ben Christo. Yeah, check out the band. I'll put a link up, too, on the Psychedelic Circus's fan page for those of you who want to get in contact with him. Make sure that you submit. You're also located in London, so everyone knows. Yeah, so... Don't submit him if you <laughs> you if you if live somewhere that's unobtainable. You know, like <laughs> Wiesbaden or something. Although, uh, yeah, so the key elements that we really... <laughs> we really need is someone who really likes the music and is passionate about it and wants to make this sort of music and make this sort of band and 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 those are the key things it's just someone who really has a passion for this sort of music over anything else really yeah i definitely agree well i mean you have to have that if you want to make anything happen there has to be a passion and a fire behind it tell kind of what bands are that you really draw from in night by night i know everyone hates that uh, question of like who are your you know inspirations but uh who are your inspirations for night by night's music and your writing okay very good question um, musically, it comes from a lot of the earlier Def Leppard stuff, where it was a bit heavier. There was a bit darker as well. And the first four albums, the first few Def Leppard albums, is a, a massive influence um, with the vocal harmonies and the riffs and the choruses. Uh, lyrically, a lot of stuff to do with Manic Street Preachers, The Cure. Wow, so there's a there's a very wide range there that you're kind of pulling from. I mean, mostly in the genre of of the '80s ish eras. Lots of you said The Cure to Def Leppard harder stuff so I mean that's a that's a big area or a um, couple different genres there but that's interesting I mean I think that's really what makes a band of today is pulling from so many different uh, genres to make kind of a new sound that really catches the ear of today's listeners yeah so essentially it's melodic hard rock 
it's got a darker element to it and it's uh we actually put a lot of work into the lyrics rather than a lot of classic rock stuff kind of follows the classic cliches lyrically we try and have a bit more spend a bit more time on on the words and and the subjects therein yeah i mean poetic you have very poetic lyrics in in a way that it's almost there's like an element underneath that you don't really realize right away but as you you dig deeper into the song there's a lot more revealed i guess yeah it's been inspired by really good lyricists more specifically i really like uh, richie from the uh, manic street preachers who disappeared in 94 he's been a big influence on me i've always really struggled to get good lyrics in songs and try to not settle for anything that sounds a bit token or a bit just like a classic expression or phrase try to write things that express the way that I feel, but not in a way that's it's necessarily, cliche. yeah, not in a way that's cliche and then not in a way that's just so nebulous that it's just pretentious. It's I'm trying to find a balance and I hope that sometimes I've done that. That's amazing. Well, I mean, I definitely agree that you're, you're on the right path and I really like what Night by Night's doing and you're a fantastic performer. So let's take a break right here. We're going to be back. We're talking with Ben Christo of Sisters of Mercy and Night by Night here on the Psychedelic Circus on Air FM Music.